आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज डोंट मेमोराइज एंड अपियर इन द एग्जाम बिकॉज यूल हैव टफ टाइम पासिंग दिस एग्जाम इफ यू मिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थर्टी प्लीज चेक प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑप्शन ए दैट इज थ्रेट मॉडलिंग यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्रेट मॉडलिंग टूल अदर ऑप्शन वी लुक आर थर्ड पार्टी क्विक टिप फॉर द एग्जाम इफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ओन टूल इज प्रेजेंट इन दी ऑप्शन देन इट्स लाइकली टू बी द पोटेंशियल एंसर रैदर दैन एनी काइंड ऑफ थर्ड पार्टी टूल्स हिंस विल कीप ऑप्शन ए एंड रिजेक्ट दी रेस्ट लेट्स लुक एट द ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन द थ्रेट मॉडलिंग टूल इज ए कोर एलिमेंट ऑफ द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सिक्योरिटी डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल एच डी एल एज अ रिजल्ट इट ग्रेटली रिड्यूजेज द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट यू कैन हैव रीड एट दिस एंड ऑल्सो जस्ट रिमेंबर थ्रेट मॉडलिंग टूल स्ट्राइड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विल लॉक ऑप्शन ए थ्रेट मॉडलिंग यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट थ्रेट मॉडलिंग टूल एज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस और राइट वी गॉट एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन लेट्स लुक एट ऑप्शन ए ए सी इज डायनेमिक एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी टेस्टिंग ऑल्सो नोन इज डैस्ट तो डायनेमिक टेस्टिंग इज यूज फॉर एनी रनिंग कोड विच इज डिप्लॉयड इन द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दिस कैन बी द पोटेंशियल आंसर विल पाक दिस लेट्स लुक एट ऑप्शन बी बी सी इज स्टैटिक एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी टेस्टिंग ऑल्सो नोन एज सैस्ट स्टैटिक टेस्टिंग इज फॉर नॉन रनिंग कोड द क्वेश्चन इज फॉर रनिंग कोड दट इज जस्ट द ऑपोजिट सो बी इज आउट लेट्स लुक एट ऑप्शन सी 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 इज इंटरक्टिव एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी टेस्टिंग इंटरक्टिव एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी टेस्टिंग इज एसोशिएटेड विद एनी एक्टिविटी इंटरक्टिंग विद द एप्लीकेशन फंक्शनलिटी द क्वेश्चन इज नॉट अबाउट एप्लीकेशन फंक्शनलिटी देर फोर इन करेक्ट चॉइस लेट्स लुक एट ऑप्शन डी डी सी इज ऑल दी अब इट कैन नॉट बी ऑल दी अब बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिजेक्टेड ऑप्शन बी एंड सी सो डी इज आउट लेट्स लुक एट द ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन टू कन्फर्म दी आंसर्स इट सी इज डैश टूल्स एनालाइज प्रोग्राम्स वेल दे एग्जीक्यूट to find security vulnerabilities such as memory corruption insecure server configuration cross site scripting just note cross site scripting user privilege issues then sql injection and other critical security concerns so that's what we require we lock option e dynamic application security testing as the correct answer for this this looks to be easy because whenever you see questions related to limited time access for storage account then think about shared access signature also known as sas and you should get your answer therefore we'll keep option a and reject the rest let's look at the official documentation it's written a shared access signature sas provides secure delegated access to resources in your storage account that is just note this how long that is it is a time bound or a time limited that is how long the sas is valid that's what is required we'll lock option a as the correct answer let's bring the heat to the snow we'll look at option c and d first c c is conditional access policy d c is arm template policy so conditional access policy and arm template are completely out of context with regard to the question hence incorrect choice Don't just pass your exam instead pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks included in the PDF exclusively for diamond members and above become member now by clicking the join button to unlock this perk let's look at option e now e says sensitivity level policy sensitivity levels do can classify the protected health information also known as fee but cannot prevent from being shared outside the company as required by the question here therefore incorrect choice we are left off with option b that is data loss prevention also known as dlp policy so dlp engine uses sensitivity labels to detect the sensitive information and thus prevent it from leaving the protected environment hence the correct answer if you look here for sharepoint and one drive in microsoft 365 you create a policy to block 
sharing of sensitive items with external users via SharePoint and OneDrive. That's what is required. Will log option B as the correct answer. All right, let's give you the concept related to information protection solution with Microsoft Purview. So information protection solution with Microsoft Purview has three parts. That is first, know your data. Second is protect your data. Third is prevent data loss. The requirement identify documents which contain sensitive information as mentioned here is related to know your data. So data classification content explorer is the correct answer. So we'll keep option A and uh, reject the rest. Let's look at the official documentation. It's written view sensitive data using content explorer and activity explorer. It says identify the sensitive information they are storing and also identify documents that are classified with sensitivity and retention labels. So that's what is required. Lock option A is the correct answer. We are at question number 36. So this is again a easy question. Whenever you see keywords like discover, classify and protect sensitive information, then a Microsoft purview information protection should strike on your mind. It will keep option C and reject the rest. If you look here in the official documentation, it's written implement capabilities from Microsoft purview information protection, formerly known as Microsoft information protection to help you discover, classify and protect sensitive information whenever it lives or travels. So that's what is required. We'll lock option C, Microsoft information protection as the correct answer. This seems to be a brainstorming question. We'll look at option A first. A says e-discovery. E-discovery can help organize and respond to legal matters or internal investigations. This is not required by the question. A is out. Let's now move to option B. B says data loss prevention, also known as DLP policy. So DLP policies are designed to detect, monitor and protect sensitive information across SharePoint Online and other Microsoft 365 services. This can be used to identify and block the sharing of confidential data such as personally identifiable information also known as PII by using rule based detection, reporting and remediation. So this can be the potential answer. We'll park this. Let's look at option C. C says sensitivity level policy. So sensitivity level policies are used to classify, protect and monitor sensitive data within SharePoint Online. They can be used to automatically label content based on specific conditions and to apply restrictions on how the content can be accessed or shared. These policies can help prevent confidential information from being shared outside the organization or with unauthorized users. So this can also be the potential answer. The question is looking for two. So we'll park these two for now. Let's now look at option D. D says retention label policy. Retention labels helps to retain what we need and delete and uh, what we don't need at item level uh, that is document or email. So this is again not required by the scenario as in the question. So D is out. Let's lock these as the correct answer. All right, we have a scenario out here. You got to look at the table here. Uh, the question is about the tables. So if you look at option B, C and D, there are only three ways to mitigate attacks such as ransomware for Microsoft Azure backup server, also known as maps. So first one is using additional layer of authentication. Uh, second is using email notification, which can serve as alert. Third is recover the deleted backup data. So please don't worry about all the three. We'll look in a while in official documentation. So since all these three options doesn't belong to any of these categories, the above three categories which I mentioned, hence uh, these are incorrect choice. We are left off with option A that is require pins to disable backup. Since pin belong to the category of additional layer of authentication that is prevention, hence the correct answer. 
So let's look at the official documentation what I was mentioning. Concerns about security issues like malware, ransomware and intrusion are increasing. These security issues can be costly in terms of both money and data. To guard against such attacks, Azure Backup now provides security features to help protect hybrid backups. So here are the threes. That is the feature includes for maps, prevention, alerting, recovery. You can have a read at this for detailed information. If we scroll down a bit in the same official documentation, it's written as a part of adding an extra layer of authentication for critical operations, you are prompted to enter a security pin. When you perform stop protection with delete data and change passphrase operation for DPM, maps and Mars. That's what is required. Will lock option A require pins to disable backup as the correct answer. All right, let's try to understand the question. The key point here is to spread the data encryption by ransomware. We'll look at option B. B says switch off the power supply. Switching off the power supply cannot protect cloud data. So B is out. Let's now move to option C. C says contact local cops. So local law and enforcement services cannot help in this matter as it's not related to their jobs. The cops, you know, uh, these are not their jobs. So uh, contacting won't help. C is out. Let's look at option D. D says uh, scan the code using Sonar So there is no mention of static code in the question. Therefore, we don't need Sonar Cube because we know sonar cube is meant for like static code testing right so d is out we are left out with one option if you look here in the op official documentation it's written disable exchange active sync and onedrive sync pausing onedrive sync helps protect your cloud data from being updated by potentially infected devices so that's what we require we'll lock option a Disable Microsoft OneDrive Sync and Exchange Active Sync as the correct answer for this. We are at question number 40. Let's look at option A. E says application isolation. As per the question, it says post breach response plan for compromised computers. It does not refer to post breach response plan for preservation of existing system. Hence, option A is out. We will focus first on option C and D. C says user isolation. D says storage isolation. Storage isolation I haven't heard. Uh, user isolation I've heard. But uh, uh, both these options are completely out of context, you know, as per the scenario. So C and D are out. We are left off with one option that is machine isolation. And we'll lock this as the correct answer. If you want to unlock more videos related to this series that is SC100 as well as different series like SC200 or AZ500 and many other playlists then please enroll in gold membership or above to view the videos if you want the PDF version of it then enrolling in diamond membership or above is recommended after enrolling in diamond membership please connect and inbox me on LinkedIn at the rate of Cloud Guru Amit or Instagram at the rate of Amit Physique I'll be glad to help you out with the PDF access. So all the best for your exam and thank you so much for watching this video.